हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग डायनामिक्स इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट अ पैराशूटिस्ट हैविंग मास एम ओपन इज पैराशूट फ्रॉम एन एट्रेस पोजिशन एट अ वेरी हाई अल्टीट्यूड इफ द एटमोस्फेरिक ड्रेग रिजिस्टेंस एफ डी इक्वल्स टू के वी स्क्वेयर वेयर के इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट determine the velocity when he has fallen for a time t and what is the velocity when he lands on the ground this velocity is referred to as terminal velocity which is found by letting the time tends to infinity so first of all we have to find the velocity of uh, this man as a function of time and then we have to find the velocity when he just lands on the ground and that particular velocity will be known as the terminal velocity and at that particular instant the time will tend to infinity right so let's say that uh, this is the body of the man let's say this box represent that man and the drag force is acting vertically upward and this drag force is given as a function of the velocity and the weight of the man is acting vertically downward and he is having some velocity in the downward direction now let's say that the positive direction let's say that this is the positive y direction in the downward direction is the positive y direction so if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to may and let's say that the acceleration in the y direction is let's say a so if we apply this equation so as we can see that this mg is acting in the positive y direction so this is plus mg minus this drag force this is equal to m times a and from this equation we can write that acceleration is equal to mg divided by m minus k v square divided by m so this will be g minus k v square and if i take k by m constant from these two terms right so i can write this is k divided by m so then we will have m g divided by k right in order to cancel this out since we have one here so this will become minus v square and now we can write this acceleration as dv by dt and if i multiply both side by dt so then we will have dv equals to this thing right similarly uh, since the we need to integrate it we need to find the velocity as a function of time so this term involves velocity so we need to bring this to the left hand side of the equation right so we have to write it as 1 divided by mg divided by k minus v square into dv and then we need to integrate this right and similarly here we will be left with k divided by m dt and then we need to integrate this so this integration is from 0 to v right initially it was at rest position and this is from 0 to t so the difficult task in this problem is to evaluate this integration right so let's say let's assume that uh, that p square is equal to mg divided by k i have assumed that all these constants mg divided by k so this is constant so let's say that this constant is equal to p square and p is one another constant let's say so then we can write this equation is we can write that this is is 1 divided by p square minus v square dv and this is from 0 to v and when we integrate this so this is km into t from 0 to t and if we put these limits so we will get this same thing so km divided by t now we can write this is 1 divided by p plus v into p minus v and i need to do one trick right so what i will do is that i will write p plus v plus p minus v and if we look into these two terms if we add up these two so this v and this v will cancel out so this means that this is 2p 
these this whole thing is equal to 2p so this means that in order to equate these two terms so we need to multiply and divide it by 2p since this whole thing is 2p right so now we can write that this is from 0 to v 1 by 2p this this thing and this thing cancels out so we will be left with this term again right so this is dv this is km divided by t similarly we can split now these two terms right so we can write it as uh, p plus v divided by p plus v into p minus v and we can write it as plus p minus v divided by p plus v into p minus v and we can write it like this as well so this is 1 divided by 2p it's from 0 to v and this is from 0 to v and this is dv dv and this is equal to k um, into t so now uh, this will cancel out p plus v will cancel out with this one so we will be left with 1 divided by p minus v and similarly uh, this will cancel out so we will be left with 1 divided by p plus v so this is 1 divided by p plus v so this is p minus v so now the derivative of this is minus 1 right so we need to have minus 1 here so in order to have minus 1 here he we need to write minus here and minus here so this is again that minus into minus is plus 1 right so 1 divided by 2p and now uh, we have the derivative of this term in the numerator so we can write it as minus natural log of p minus v and this will be plus again we have the derivative of this term in the numerator so again we can write that this is ln p plus v and this will be from 0 to v k divided by m into t now this is 1 divided by 2p and if we apply the log rules then we can write it as ln p plus v divided by p minus v right so the minus sign the term with which we have the minus sign that will come in the denominator right so this is from 0 to v k by m into t and if we put these limits this will be 1 divided by 2 p ln p plus v p minus v and then we will write minus 1 divided by 2 p and ln 0 so we will have p plus 0 and p minus 0 and this will become ln 1 and ln 1 is 0 so this whole term will become 0 so we will be left with only this term so this is equal to k by m into t again remember that we have assumed that p square is equal to mg divided by k here i have assumed that p square is equal to mg divided by k and that p square is that constant right so now here we can write that p is equal to mg divided by k remember right so now we need to find velocity so we need to have this v on one side of the equation so we need to remove this natural log right so what we need to do is that we need to raise both sides of the equation to the power of e so this natural log will cancel out so before that first we can do what we can do is that we can apply this 2p on the two, uh, on both sides of the equation so we will have this 2p here right and now if we raise both sides of the equation to the power of e so so this will cancel out this will cancel out and we will be left with p plus v p minus v and this will be e to the power 2 p k divided by m into t right and similarly if i multiply both sides of equation by p minus v so then we will have p plus v in and here we will have that p minus v right similarly we can write p plus v and this will be e to the power 2 p k and let's say let's say that this is one another constant let's say that this is equal to 2 p k divided by m 
let's say this whole thing is and one another constant and let's say that constant is x so now we can write this is x to the power t into p minus v and we can write it as p plus v and if we multiply this inside so this will be p e to the power x t minus v e to the power x t and i need to bring this v term to this side right so this will become v plus v e to the power x t and this will be p e to the power x t minus p and we can take v common from both of these terms so this will be 1 plus e to the power x t and here we can take p common so this will be e to the power x t minus 1 and we can write we can divide both sides of the equation by this term so we will have the velocity as a function of time so this will be p e to the power x t minus 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power x t so this is that velocity at any time t so this is the velocity as a function of time remember that this is x and this is p right so p is mg divided by k uh, under the square root since we have assumed that p square is equal to uh, mg divided by k so then p is under the square root mg divided by k so now we need to find the terminal velocity when the parash uh, when the paratrooper uh, just lands on the ground when t tends to infinity so then when we what we need to do is that we need to apply that limit right so we can have this value when limit t tends to infinity so now when t tends to infinity if i put t uh, equals to infinity so then this gives us infinity by infinity and then that cannot be determined so then we know another rule from the basic calculus that we need to apply the l'hopital rule so so in order to apply the L'Hopital rule what we need to do is that we need to take the derivative of this term and we need to take the derivative of this term and then after that we need to evaluate this limit so I need to write limit t tends to infinity p and the derivative of this term will be x e to the power x t and this is 0 and similarly the derivative of this term is x e to the power x t and this is 0 and this will cancel out so we will be left with only this p and now since we do not have any t so if we apply this limit t tends to infinity then velocity that terminal velocity at the ground is equal to that p and as we have assumed that p square p square is equal to uh, mg divided by k then p is mg divided by k under the square root so this means that the terminal velocity will be equal to mg divided by k under the square root right so this is that velocity when t turns tends to infinity and this is that velocity equation as a function of time which was required so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood uh, the solution of this particular problem uh, kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet also like this video if you people want me to continue such more problem solutions